Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I want to finish up my series on how to reset your metabolism by repairing your cells. So this is the sixth video. Go back, and the whole playlist is on YouTube. If you're not, if you're watching this on Facebook, go to my YouTube channel. The whole playlist is there. I personally think that this fifth step may be the most important one. So the first step, we have you repair your the cell membrane. The second step, we have you power up your mitochondria so you can get more energy. Uh, the third step, we have you use fasting techniques to clean out the inside of the cell. The fourth step, I taught you how to do, uh, get to stem cells and how do you get your body to produce more stem cells. The fifth step is what if you have an ob obesity gene? Yep, there actually is an obesity gene. And there's a great study. It was done on this little mouse here. It's called the agouti mouse. Uh, it, what they took or what they identified is that there were mice that had this obesity gene and that when they introduced a chemical, in this case, they introduced BPA plastic into the mouse's diet, it triggered the gene and all of a sudden the mouse started to hold on to weight. So what does that mean for you? It means you could be going keto, you could be fasting, you could be depriving yourself, you could be running miles trying to lose weight, but it may be something as simple as getting this gene to turn off. So there is something that sits on the top of our genes called methyl, I call them methyl caps, and they protect these genes. But if you're under a tremendous amount of physical, emotional, or chemical stress, these methyl caps start to be used to handle that stress load. And as you take the methyl caps off of the gene, now this gene can be exposed and can be read. So those methyl caps, most of those are made up of B vitamins. And so you need to be introducing more uh, methyl group type foods into your diet. Some great ones are all the cruciferous foods. So the br uh, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, broccoli, uh, even red peppers. Uh, pe I, red peppers happens to be one of my favorite foods. Red peppers, orange peppers, yellow peppers. All of that will help to give you more methyl caps that you can put back on the gene. There are also very specific supplements that you can use to put the meth to improve your methylation. Those of you that have been following my Keto for Women, uh, you know I'm a big fan of the Dutch test. The Dutch test will tell me if you're a good methylator or not. If your body is overusing these methyl caps, if your body is able to do a process called methylation, the Dutch test will tell us that. So, but what, what I find with a lot of people is that you're trying so hard to lose weight and you don't realize that there's a gene that's been triggered and that there's some steps you can do to start to untrigger that gene. So it's called epigenetics. Uh, we know a ton about epigenetics now. In the Agouti mouse story, they actually introduced methyl foods like the one I mentioned and they met, introduced methyl uh, rich supplements and they found that the offspring of these mice would actually turn out thin and they didn't have the gene triggered. Whereas if they didn't enter the, put those methyl groups and that methyl supplement into the uh, mouse's diet, that they would actually give birth to overweight over time to overweight uh, children. So methylation is crazy important. And it is the fifth step of, of repairing your cells so your metabolism is, metabolism is where you want it to be. So. I hope that helps. This is a really, I saved the best for last, I think, because so many of you I see are struggling with your weight. I, I see it in my resetter group. Uh, we've had a ton of new resetters come into my resetter group recently. And I, I re, we ask three questions when you come into the group. I read every single one of these questions personally. And one of the overwhelming majority of concerns that people are having with their health right now is I'm doing everything to lose weight and I'm not losing weight and this may be the missing piece. So if you want in my resetter group, I'm gonna be discussing this more in there. Just put resetters in the comments and we'll invite you in. Um, at my metabolic reset on January 5th, I am going to show you how to bring methylation and improve your methylation into your life day after day after day so over time you turn these genes off. 
It's not that complicated. It just takes some intention. So, okay, metabolic reset. It starts with your cells. Your cells, when they're toxic, they store those toxic cells in fat. So stop trying to lose weight. Stop trying to just burn fat. Start looking at cellular repair. When you do that, you will lose weight, you will burn fat, your energy will go through the roof, I promise you. If you want more information on my metabolic reset, just put it in the comments, I'll make sure there you get there. And as always, from the bottom of my heart, I hope this helps. Please, if you're frustrated with your weight, do not give up on yourself. I promise you, you are more powerful than you've ever been taught. Don't let your, a, a diagnosis, don't let the people, your support system, don't let family members, don't let them get into your head and tell you anything else. You were born to heal, you were born to have energy, you were born to burn fat. You just never been taught how to do that. And that's what we're trying to do here. So as always, I hope that helps.